130 hits is fine. What's up, everybody? It's Sergio uh, with Sports Card Album here at Sports Cards Plus in San Antonio, Texas. Going to bust a box of 2016 Contenders Draft Picks. The draft is just a couple days away, and I am, I've am i just got the itch to bust a box. So we got Chris and Charlie over here. They're talking about we're doing some live group breaks on the Internet there. we got some football draft prognostications going on up there. Customers over here talking, and I'm going to be busting this. So... The big uh, dilemma for me a second ago was, do I go for contenders at uh, you know 130 bucks a box, or do I go for Prism at 110 bucks? Each one has five autographs. Um, these would obviously sell more if you get the big hits, but Prism, the advantage to Prism is you've got a lot of color and you've got parallels that can sell. And if you get a, a Peyton Manning Tennessee card numbered out of five or gold out of ten or black finite one of ones, all of those parallels can sell well. And a lot of people put together the rainbow prisms. But uh, Phil Hughes, my buddy, who's also a collegiate collector, tweeted me at the last second saying contenders. Several other people said contenders. I was I was going with Prism because that was the first thing someone suggested on Twitter. But this also is the last box in the store. The last box in the store. So I'm hoping for some l final box mojo. Last box of the... Everybody knows the stories, the, the legends, the old wives' tales of somebody finding a box that was gathering dust and that box... Uh, had been on the shelf for years and it was the last box of the product and nobody busted it and finally somebody decides to open it and it's uh, got some holy grail card in it. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm not hoping for much, just a cracked ice quarterback or a Corey Coleman. Von Miller, number two draft pick in 2011 draft is Philip Rivers. Marshawn Lynch! Is that an autograph of Marshawn Lynch? Oh no. Bull ticket. That's that was almost crazy. I wouldn't didn't even know Marshawn Lynch. Not even sure if he has one. But look at that bull ticket out of ninety nine of Marshawn Lynch. Very cool. Damn, that would have been crazy first pack. So I love the school colors inserts. Todd Gurley, old school colors. Very nice. Game day. Derrick Henry. Wouldn't mind an autograph of him. Wouldn't mind an autograph of Connor Cook, who I think has all the tools and mental makeup to uh, be a successful quarterback. Farrow Cooper is another guy that um, I think could be really, really good in the league. There's a famous Jameis, Manuel Sanders, Des Bryant, Devontae Booker, Andy Dalton, Dak Prescott. A lot of uh, Cleveland fans are hoping that uh, they're able to pick up Dak Prescott in some of the, one of the later rounds. It's crazy how this whole draft has already come up before the season has begun. Here's my first autograph. Carson Wentz! Fully on card, full sticker autograph. Philip Hughes, I owe you, buddy. Look at that, Carson Wentz. The last box in the shop, Carson Wentz. Mint condition corners, autograph fully on card, which is rare for him. Perfect centering. That's a 9.510, ladies and gentlemen. Just go ahead and give me the gold label right now. Just go ahead. You've got a direct phone, uh, direct phone line into BGS, don't you, Charlie? Yeah. Can you just go ahead? Tell them it's a gimme. Tell them just lock it up, 9.510. If it's a black label, I won't turn it down. Carson Wentz, number two quarterback taken in the draft in a couple of days. Woo-hoo, boy. That is not bad. So now what we need is, there's an Ezekiel Elliott. I hope the Cleveland Browns take him in the eighth spot. Be high for a running back, I'll admit, but that'd open up some things for RG3. The next autograph is a Chris Jones from Mississippi State. Cracked ice number to 23, full autograph on card. Centering looks very good. Look at that, Chris Jones. Chris Jones, cracked ice. So I got a crack. I got a Carson Wentz and a cracked ice, and I just called it too. I just said I need some cracked ice. All right, now we need a Corey Coleman, Ezekiel Elliott. Let's get something else. Oh, look at that. There's my Corey Coleman right there. Corey Coleman, school colors. This box was made for me. I called my Michael Jordan, but not a double autograph. Oh. Yeah, I need to see that on camera. 
By the way, Chris is a, a sports cards plus uh, guy over here in San Antonio, and he was just showing me a Michael Jordan dual autograph. When I say dual autograph, I mean it's got Michael Jordan's autograph twice on it from Upper Deck Exquisite, and uh, it's I've never seen that card before, and he's never found another copy of it before, and it's kind of wild, but uh, he's got it. It exists, and Upper Deck wasn't willing to give print runs or anything on it, obviously. It's Jamal Charles. Devonta Freeman. I found a James Winston dual autograph where he signed it both. Yeah. And they were asking five grand for him. Not bad for my first two uh, two cards, right? My first two hits. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to sleeve those both very carefully. There's a Sam Bradford. Did you guys hear about Sam Bradford today? No. He wants out. He wants out of the Eagles. He wants out of his contract. Yep. He wants out. Uh, yeah. Uh, they, they got so much money into that. Uh, they're quarterbacks now. They're going to draft another one. There's Cardell Jones. Oh man, yeah. I, I. Oh man, that's just crazy. Elvis Dumerville, Devonta Freeman, Clay Matthews, Greg Olson, Jimmy Graham, Demarcus Robinson, School Colors, Richard Sherman, Kenneth Dixon, Braylon Addison. All right, so we still have at least three autographs. There's a Marcus Mariota. At least three autographs. Josh Doxson. A lot of people think he could be great. Very big, very tall guy, big hands. Not super fast, but he can make plays. Brandon Marshall out of UCF. Todd Gurley. No autograph here. There's a Peyton Manning school colors. Old school colors. Beautiful set. Beautiful set. Well, paid off. Paid off to buy this box. Austin Hooper from Stanford is my next autograph. Autograph not fully on the card, not cracked ice or very or you know uh, playoff ticket, but I don't know if it's a photo variation or anything like that. And I don't know enough about this guy to see uh, what it sells for. Oh, this is the tight end. Actually, I think this is one of the tight ends that people were talking about the other day. There are several teams that are looking at tight ends that have a big need there, but you know. Getting a Rob Gronkowski is is uh, you know that's a generational player. This is going to you, obviously, Philip Hughes, DeAndre Hopkins. Here's my next auto. Colby Listenby from TCU. Actually, he is a very very versatile athlete. He could play a lot of different positions. I got to watch a lot of him at TCU. Hated watching every second of him. Um, here's a Laquan Treadwell. So that's four autographs, and we've still got half the box to go. But it is Panini, and Contenders does have a reputation for every once in a while throwing out an extra autograph. Noah Spence is my next autograph. Wow. Great, great effort on that autograph, Noah. Great, great effort. An N. Well, I've seen worse, right? Ezekiel Elliott. Let's see, let's see if we got a six. Panini's known for throwing in extra autographs into contenders and uh, certified usually and some other sets. Joey Bosa, school colors. Let's see, holy cow, still a lot of packs to go, my gosh. Maybe I get seven autographs, maybe this is a hot box. You got eight autographs out of a box of contenders? Holy cow. I've already got my five, and I've still got three, six, seven packs to go. That's why I was going to give my packs away, right? Wow. Oh, that's right. So Chris was just telling me a story. He got his autographs. He got all of his five autographs out of a box of stuff. Was going to give away the rest of the packs uh, to some kids. Uh, what, at your kid's school? And so um, then he started watching TV and was watching something about Piazza going into the Hall of Fame. And that annoyed him. He didn't think Piazza should be in the Hall of Fame. So he got distracted watching that. And while he got distracted, he busted the rest of the packs and pulled a Marcus Mariota out of 30 variation autograph. On card. On card. So lesson to all of you to not be generous and to be very selfish. Open every, every last pack. I'm just kidding. Some kid would have loved it, but he probably wouldn't have taken care of it. Either. That's right. Andy Dalton, 
Derrick Henry. Come on, I keep thinking I'm going to get an extra autograph. Keep thinking maybe I'm going to pull an autograph. Come on, give me a sixth autograph, guys. Oh, yeah. Come on. Kirk Cousins. There's Ezekiel Elliott, Calvin Johnson. All right, three packs to go. Come on. Come on, give me number six. Give me, a, give me another autograph. Maybe that cracked ice didn't count. Nothing there, but I love these cards, and I love collegiate, so I... I organize all the cards by teams, give them out to a lot of players. This, this pack's got a Corey Coleman for you, for me. Very nice. I hate that bare face logo. I hope they do away with that. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a Connor Cook autograph. It was not. Last pack. Last pack of a really nice box. Nothing. Ooh, I thought, I thought maybe. I thought maybe, but still. Great box, as always. Here we got the Carson Wentz. We got the Chris Jones Cracked Ice, Colby Listenby, Austin Hooper, and uh, Noah. Just forget about Noah Spence. With an autograph like that, I mean, I don't know that he's going to amount to anything. I'm just kidding. All right, so there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and that was 2016 Contenders Draft Picks football. Big thanks to Sports Cards Plus in San Antonio, Texas, and this guy, Charlie. Charlie. Forget me.